I think that I think we could just run down the net and the game's over. Um, now there is two tanks, but uh, and a third Ooh. on the way, but the tank is on the like. Oh my god, the banshee! That would have been sick. I mean, getting that much health on it is also already pretty sick. We got two yeah. tanks on the low ground that are potentially getting picked off. Never mind, actually, the the Ling's just got a running in there and just losing it all to that second tank on the high ground as well. So a little bit iffy here for characters. The Banshee does still stay alive. There's nothing to kill it just yet. Uh, a little unfortunate rally as well. We have some overlords that are deciding to donate themselves to the Terran here in the next 15 to 20 seconds. Oh, no. uh, Overlord 1 is serving itself up on a beautiful platter here for these Marines, but maybe we can bait out a stamp. I doubt it. That would be so funny. <laughs> we're just like, oh. we did, we're like doing something else on the other side of the map. We, we're like, oh my god, there's there's units on my side. Quick, go back, stim. And then it's just a bunch of overlords. Oh my god, that's a play. That was an massive. unfortunate minus 400 right there. And uh, we don't have any banelings here. And uh, these six overlords up front are in an absolute <gasps> uh, unfortunate position. Now, the stim <laughs> is going to do a lot of damage to the bio, but there will be no reinforcements uh, against these uh these units because we are just massively supply blocked and uh, unfortunately I do think that these marines are going to trade a little bit better than the roaches now uh, character is still up at 76 supplies so we probably have another 10 minutes left but I do think Revo is in a winning position and whoa character GGing before 50 supply really used to here so I guess we do have to lift this off and gonna have to try and repair it here Actually, we're going to really need to repair this. Yeah, it, this actually could die if we don't get these SCVs here in time. It's going to be extremely close. We'll be just able to save it in time here. Oh my but gosh. a couple Marines donated. Character, on the other hand, doesn't feel like he has too much charge. Also, not even started, yeah. by the way. No battery. Oh my god, this could actually be a massive, massive critical moment here for Character, who just did not prepare for a tank marine push to be coming his way as the stim up is going to force him off of this third base. Oh, with the blink hey, of the well. tanks! What? Oh my god, he clears them, but the marine's yeah. DPS is insane. Oh my god. The man, man with, with gun, gun pretty good. The man with gun beats the, the robot with zappers. Unfortunate there. As the marine marauder single medevac is going to be able to punch it on home here. <gasps> but it's not going to be too in time. It's not going to be in time. The well, Nidus does come out. The Nidus, like, unloads very slow. Oh, he took forever to do it. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh. Get back in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going to be a lot of in his face here. The swarm hosts are out, and they've taken Whoa, a while to actually wall. do anything. Is he going to dive? What? There's what? nothing in the Protoss oh. wall. Yeah, that is true. I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think it will either, as the Protoss army is going to just run on into this third base over here and just try to absolutely ransack it before anything get done. The Locusts do target down the Nexus and kill that off very quickly here, but the problem is that there's just literally nothing to actually attack these carriers right now. But uh, I think these Lings and these Swarm Hosts that have already used their charges are definitely going to trade great against these Zealots. <laughs> yeah, no, that's going to be an excellent, uh, an excellent trade here for Goblin, I would say. Oh my god, he's sending the swarm host across Maybe the Goblin's map. plan is to turn this into an hour and a half game. <laughs> that might be his only hopes of actually being able to win it here. As I mean, there's so many Archons on the floor as well now that even if these uh, Corruptors get out, even if they could somehow survive the carriers, they're definitely not surviving, surviving the Archons. And that is going to be a GG here. This is, this is a very, very reminiscent of... Uh, I, know, I know it's different strategies, but very reminiscent of our Fiant uh, Hydra game a couple weeks ago oh yeah 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 no that's uh, true but goblin knows now honestly the creep spread pretty legit yeah uh however we uh don't have any roaches and so uh i think that maybe we should just run all of these units away i mean uh, the queens we're not going to. the queens oh, will hold oh. their own for now but moving them yep. away without the drones is going to mean that some of those do get picked off here and now this is going to be really awkward. This position is perfect for these adepts. Oh my god, there's like yeah. no way to actually attack into this. I oh think my we should god, cancel these the maps shade. are horrendous. Okay, I know this army just doesn't feel good. I feel it's just so strange looking as well. And we're completely out of position now for this Roach Ravager attack over on the right side. We're going to be able to just focus this down as fast as we could. The overture, the, the shield battery trying to save it but unable to do so here. So. Very nicely done. Denny now trying to cut this army off so it cannot retreat back home. 
without taking a massive fight. But unfortunately, he's going to have to go up a ramp to be able to do so. And that's going to mean going through all these biles, sectioning off these units pretty easily, but getting them stuck yet again on the ramp. But the storms start to fall down now onto these Ravagers as the Banelings, <gasps> the Morphing Banelings are choking up all the Ravagers and for fucking up the pathing and a massive storm goes off on them as well. Does any have enough here? I don't actually know because again, this army is just gateway units. Oh. oh, the Prism getting picked off as well is super massive here for Goblin, but all of his units keep getting choked up behind yeah. every everything. So this concave for Denny is actually super good for him, but his army size just continues to shrink as Goblins only continues to grow as he's now almost doubling the supply of the Protoss here. We'll be able to snipe off the gold base, but God, what an expensive trade that had to be. I'm seeing, I do see a way. There is a way for Denny to win this game right now. It's still very rare. Oh my God, rare. our casters are coping as hard as our players. It's still very rare, but I'm just saying, this is this has become a game that is nowhere near as as uh you know as. Do you have a hitman on the way to Goblin Pal? <laughs> yeah, from the past. Yeah, exactly. I have that. I mean, look at these storms. He keeps walking into all these storms. These units are so low. Gets a Broodlord, he needs to back out of these Biles. The storms continue to rain down on all of these units. The Queen's not in range to transfuse. The Colossi completely untouched. I mean, if we can clear these Ravagers, we're gonna get a blink on these Broodlords. Those are gonna start to go down. The Biles though connecting on top of everything is pretty massive here. The Ling Remax though, and we have been able to bank up enough resources to get the Ultra Count coming out of the reinforcements as well. So I think this is going to be that for Denny. It was a valiant attempt, I will say. There was a there was some multiverse that Larimbo could see that Denny did actually win this game, but unfortunately did not punch Denny, hard enough just soon enough. It needed to be a little bit sooner before Goblin could have banked up enough resources. Uh and after the opener uh the queen is only going to be halfway done when these lings are running into the main. So we only have two lings to defend at the moment. So definitely going to take probably lose a couple drones. Oh, like hello. Lose some mining time. Heads or tails? Heads. Heads. Eba with the 12 year old reaction times and attention span, not even realizing that the Lings were in his base, just sent his two out. Spazy also not even realizing that the two came back, so did oh, not trap him, but gets the queen! Disaster. Oh, that's massive here for Spazy to be able to get that. That's so, so important. And that's gonna be some excellent damage coming out of him, and potentially will allow him to snowball this very heavily, or at least to be able to take his third base completely safe, as this is what he's going to be going for on the back end here. I'm kind of curious because there's no Baneling Nest from Spazy either. It's just going to be a pure Speedling all in. What, yeah, what are there's your the thoughts Baneling about that? Nest just going down, but here comes the Zerglings across the map, so not going to be in time. Eva's going to have to buy a lot of time here if he wants to survive. Uh, the drones have not been pulled for the full wall yet, so uh, it does look like these Lings are just going to run immediately into main. Three Lings attacking over here on the third, but he just goes ahead and pulls them. There's no Queens on the ramp. There's no way out. I think Eva is dead. Oh my god. Eva's asleep at the wheel with a massive GG. In the top left, riding high. Whoops. The <laughs> god gamer himself. <laughs> it's gonna be spazzy mazzy. Uh, we'll be sending out more lings of his own though, and already getting six of his own banelings morphed nice and close to Eba here. So the pressure does not relent as Spazy yet again going for something very aggressive, sending his first few banelings in to try and pop off onto those uh, onto those bane cocoons, but they're very beefy. And now going into the mineral line here, we'll be able to get four drones, which is pretty decent, while the lings continue to go and work away at the third base morphing in, but won't be able to get the banelings. <gasps> oh my god, Spazy not paying attention and lets the half of his lings just walk right into the banelings. A massive catastrophe here for him on this attack, as he's gonna get forced back despite having more lings in production on the back end. 75 hit points here. Tries to go in for another round as well. We'll be able to snipe it off and get out in time. Very nicely done. Which, uh, in both uh, the natural and the third, which is going to be very crucial for all the <gasps> counterattacks. Unfortunately, oh these two Banes get an God. absolute massive hit. 
it's a little harder to tell in, ZV, uh, in ZVZ, of course, because you uh, can't really get the uh, perfect information, but we're approaching deny levels of cope. Yeah, this is looking really bad here. He's gonna try to get the wraparound with Lings with it running right into some banelings here. We'll be able to get a decent wraparound and the Bios, oh my God, he barely splits in time. That's actually wild. He's able to actually keep those alive here, but the, I mean, the Roach Ravager count is actually pretty massive. The problem is, of course, that there's so many mutas. Usually the mutas are not that much of an impact here because it's just, you know, they don't deal that much damage, but that many, it's gonna be huge. I'm so confused, man. <laughs> what? Why does Gort go for a? What? Why does he go for that crazy sixteen hatch first against a person I don't that know. can rushes every single time and then act like he actually? I'm so, uh, surely at least someone on his team knew what he does, right? And told him. Oh yeah, this is a hundred percent an itis. Oh shit! It is an itis. Nice. And it's in a position that is actually also possibly scoutable as well by a forward poking stalker. That's really cool. Is it gonna be good enough? Is there an Overlord in position? Yes, there is. On the other side of the map, there is an Overlord ready. There's no vision for this app at all. There's no cannon or shield battery ready for it at all either. It's going to be a Stargate follow-up as well. Oh, boy, oh, boy, The Nidus will be done already. That is correct. It's a very late Stargate. Are we just idiots? Is, like, Gorth actually a mad scientist and a genius? Perhaps. Perhaps it is. <laughs> That is true. There's the instant recall and the instant pro pull. Running the queen back to be able to get a nice transfuse if it ends up getting the energy, but will probably likely just throw down a creep tumor. I mean, this is so many probes that are dying already. We have three drones dying on the other side as well to an adept that ended up managing to uh, shade past the spine crawlers here, losing a ravager. Yeah, I feel like this is just a drone pull away from getting res uh, from getting denied, although. Oh, holy shit! That's kind of big brain, actually. I didn't expect that at all. I actually like that a lot. That is it very cute. Work. That is very cute. I mean, with this proximity of the cannons to everything here, it just gives such an excellent anchor point for Azina to just walk back and forth. There's no chase potential here. I can't believe we're not at least having it in the back of our minds at all as we also don't even have anything to recall with so once again we're walled in and no way to get units back into our base here we're gonna try to go for the target fire on the nidus worm does gort realize in time oh my god does xeno even realize what's happening because he kills the queen he needs to target the nidus worm i mean we gort knows that he killed like every probe on the other side of the map so he doesn't need to actually break this just yet. He just needs to contain long enough to get a and few more units. And going spines instead of saving up for a hatchery, like, it's just, I, I'm not sure that's the right decision. I mean, even just more roaches. Like, these stalkers are here right now. They're gonna be able to kill these spines. Oh my god, did Gort actually throw this game? He's gonna try to pull them for the surround. I mean, the roach ravager is literally just incapable of doing anything as the drone comes and splashes us in the face there. We're, we're recalling. What? There's a single ro- Did we just recall five stalkers to kill a single roach when there is zero probes in our main base? He should have put the spines close enough. I don't understand why he didn't put the spines close enough to be able to get to- Like, the spines and the bios together would have been able to kill these cannons, but now it's given enough time for the stalkers to just get back and now we're just in the same exact position. I'm just, I'm just like holding my breath at this point. This is really have I no know, idea what to expect banger. at all. There's this been is the best game of the day. Nothing has happened how I've, how I've thought it should in any of these games. So I'm just kind of waiting and just reacting. This is absurd. I can't believe this game. I'm not even, I'm just gonna zoom out and just sit here. I'm not even gonna move anymore. There's nothing to, what? <laughs> Which also is actually fine because it was a double adept opener here. So as long as he walls back at home, which he doesn't. It's a disaster! Things are okay, and now it's not okay. So that is gonna be two probes into the main base, and like I said, we could very easily have a two, ba uh, two ad adept into the main, into four minute GG game, and so far, things are looking pretty decent for that, as we're also having a proxy robo gonna be coming up after this. 
He he's also expanding. He doesn't know. Oh my god, chat. He doesn't know. Dying, he doesn't know. He has zero information that this is actually a proxy. He's still scouting for it. That's but so now sad. This Oracle is flying in and there is nothing. Oh. Uh oh. So we're about to equalize the workers up in this game. Oh, we're gonna more than equalize. We're gonna gain the lead here. Everything is so far out of position. We are gonna have to oh my recall. God. And our adepts are here too. And the Oracle decides Whoa. that it doesn't want to live. Uh, we don't have any vision yet, and the Void Rays are almost done. Uh, very nice force field to start oh. out right here. Oh, that second force field was terrible. I don't know why we did yeah. that, because there's no reason, there's no way that those units could have fit back, even though the force field wasn't perfect. He's trying to chrono probes to come back here, but I mean, his opponent is, oh, his opponent has won the video game. Also, because we actually didn't give these guys player intros last time, so we can give them the cool epic player intros with the, yeah, uh, yeah, the, yeah. New, the new... I got it, I got it, I got it. Here. Ready? Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. In the top left, always backing me up in politics chat whenever I'm going on my tirades. It's going to be New Horizon. And on the right side, doing the same thing for me, but in weep containment. It's going to be Jackie. Oh, my God. No way. Oh, it's all... <laughs> oh my god, you started it! This is sick! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. Holy shit, that was so... <laughs> that became... <laughs> it's actually pretty sick that the intro one is uh, Goblin's face. Hold on, we're gonna redo that. We're gonna go back. We're gonna give them the fucking thing they deserve. Oh my god. All right, hold up. Let's try that again. Wait up. All right, hold up. Let me make sure I'm... Okay, I'm in the game. All right. Ready? Go for it. Let's try this again. <laughs> oh my god. All right, hold up. Let's try that again. Wait up. Guys, much love. God. No way. Oh, it's all... <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, go. Makes the new 4 for 4 deliciously different. Only at Wendy.